take reward. Just leveled up. 35. Nice. Open skills. Uh, let me see. This should be witchcraft. So I have one new ability. I think I need this guy. Hull Spear. Who's this combined with? Serpent. That. Don't have that. Don't have that. That combines with those. Same thing with that. Okay. Yeah, I think Hell Spear is the one that I want. If I remember correctly. Boom. Separate that and that. You can see which of these abilities combo with what. So it's Hell Spear. Vicious Binding. I like this ability too. Increases the damage to all enemy targets plus 50%. Ooh, that's hot. If I had these two. Wait, do I have them? Are they actually unlocked? Wait, I think I have these. Really? No way. What? I've had these two, but I've never had them equipped on my... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <sighs> Let me just check one more time. Do I have any abilities that combine with those? This combat is with blade fall. These two combo together. All of these combo together too. Damn. All three of these combo. This combo is with that. This, these all combo together too. Nice. Uh, what's it say that it combos with? Malice charges? What's this one do? Malice increases the duration. Calms down the waves of blades. Impales the target for two seconds. Damn. Those are all nice. Okay. So... And that combos with Curse Thorn. Ooh. Oof. Um shoot. Now I'm I'm in a a sticky situation. Addiction level 40, that's 45, that's 50, and that's 55. So at max level, I'll get all these abilities. Um, shoot. And in order to get this one, I need to get this guy. Um, does purge combo with anything? With that. These all combo together. Okay, I think I'm gonna get the curse thorn. Uh, inflicts an enemy with a curse seed for five seconds, causes the deadly thorns to sprout in their footsteps after dealing uh, rounding as they burst to the ground. Okay, and effects.
All right, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, three? Ah, shoot. Ah, oh, I can't even unlock it because I need one more ability in this to even get that one. Ah, shoot. Um. Drop that right there too. Damn. What passives do I get for this? Duration of impale and stun effects. Increase magic critical damage, increase skill damage, plus five for skills that consume malice. Teleports the caster up to ten allies to select the location within ten millimeter or ten meters. Gimpy elevator. Okay. Gain a stack of exploitation for each enemy and flick with fear using Banshee's Wail or Whispering. Or in, is it Insidious Whisper? Gain a stack of exploitation for each enemy. Exploitation decreases the cooldown of focal concussion. Uh, which is... Exactly. Last 40 seconds, stacks up to five times. Casting either spell consumes one stack. While under the effects of exploitation, both spells will, de spells will deal 90% of their damage as mana burn instead of normal damage, restoring an amount, an equal amount of mana to you. It's not bad. Increase the duration of those. It's pretty good to have to Increase witchcraft skill. Damn. Hard decisions now. Do any of these... Yeah, what up, scoring? I'm trying to see which ones combine with what now. Because I could get one of these, or I could go for the exploitation guy. Bubble... Damn, I wish I could just get that. I can't yet though. I need that too. That's 50. Jeez. You got a new car? What kind? Damn. Uh, you both can't decide. All right, I just, I'm just gonna choose one. Um, crippling forms a painful link with the target, dealing that counts as an ongoing spell. 2019 Toyota Corolla hatchback SXE, nice dude. I know one, the newer ones are pretty nice. That's sick. All prone for eight seconds, saying, tricking monsters into stopping combat and temporarily escaping enemy targeting and PVP. Oh, that's play dead. Shadow step teleports the caster behind an ally or enemy. Boneyard. So an enemy is up to five millimeters or five meters, trapping them in a bone prison for up to ten seconds. Full use and canceling all cast time. If not destroyed. Okay. It's either crippling mire or this. Over four seconds or five meter radius. I think I'll take the crippling mire. And now we get duration of impale is higher too. Okay. Now um think I might Defiance. Let's move that up there. Yeah. Put that right there. 
Wow, I can't believe I had these abilities unlocked and I haven't been using them the entire time. That bothers me. It's... What's this game about? Uh, the best way I can explain it is think of Black Desert Online, but not... Uh, combat is different and not as uh, pay to win. The, there's So there's two versions of Arcage. There's regular Arcage, which is very pay to win. And then there's another version where... Um, oh God. Oh god, it's very heavy PvP, which is why I just got wrecked like that. Um, there's a free-to-play version of Arcage that you can pretty much pay to win. And then there's also this version, which just came out recently, um, where pretty much you... Um, it's a one-time buy, but then there's like no... There's practically no pay-to-win mechanics. It's all... You just buy the game one time, and then you're all set. Um, and you can play the game. I see the gameplay a little bit closer to um, Black Desert Online, like environment and quest wise. Um, there's a lot, a good amount of customization. My favorite part about the game is the class system. So you choose three classes and there's a lot. And your three classes or skills that you choose create your class name so if you so for me i have malediction occultism and witchcraft those three combined equal witch doctor if i switch this to anything else so i switch it to archery malediction occultism and archery each equals wild claw if i change it to defense you become mind slaver if i change it to shadow play you become saboteur so there's like a million different things you can do and like each one of these like if i kept it shadow play and i changed something else to something else like it it's crazy <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that you can do different classes um that's really cool in my opinion the only thing is there's it's very heavy pvp so see how it says at war 10 minutes so this region is at war you have the west faction which is kind of like the alliance and the east faction which is kind of like the horde um in these areas once you hit level 30 you can start to enter areas that are pvp so this area that i'm in right now halcyona it's at war for the next five nine minutes once that time frame is up it's gonna go to peace time so then it's like an hour or an hour and a half where nobody can kill anybody of the other faction um this area over here it's danger level three so it's kind of gonna swap so when this one when halcyona is done it'll become peace zone and then most likely cinder stone more will become at war so now there will be PvP over there, and there won't be over here. Um, so things like that, and then Hell Swamp, 23 minutes left, and this is only the the uh, west side of the map. You look at this is the east side, so this is where like all the the other people spawn, the other faction, they'll spawn here. But eventually, you all get to the same area, same thing. Like this, I think there's a different or similar faction. Or no, this this looks like it's a high end area. So, I really like the game. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it can be difficult. I mean, moments like this where I'm just trying to do these stupid quests, but I'm getting wrecked because of PvP. Yeah, it's annoying, but it is what it is. Um, you kind of just come to accept it i could if i really wanted to i would go to a different location so i'd be like at two crowns doing these quests here um instead of over here it's super super easy going from level 30 to uh or going from level 1 to 30 once you hit 30 you have to start doing side quests and then from there it takes a little bit to keep leveling
Um, it's a, it can be a little bit annoying and repetitive, but it's not the worst thing in the world for sure. Um, it's still fun and like getting new abilities is what makes up for it too. Uh, what do I need to do for this? Use the well near a but where's the well? In the village. Ah, uh, here's the well. It's really cool though. I, I've really been enjoying this game. I feel like it's a it's a perfect MMO since there's no like subscription or anything. I feel like it's a perfect MMO to like get in, play for a while, like when there's nothing out. Um and then take a break, but then like during your off time or like time off, whatever, like when you're not really playing any other game, I think it's a good game to come back in, level some more, complete some more quests, and then keep playing until you take a break again. Uh, use a signal flare while gliding, interesting. to go all the way up there. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Let's try this. Nice. Well, I got it. Griffins and Darkling Griffins. Are those hostile part of my th no. These are though. Oof. It's a big guy. Uh, kill Brown and trying to see how I can get to him without killing the, the little guys. No, it would be dope if they had cars in this game. They do. <laughs> they actually do. You can get like sort of like modern not modern but you can get cars in it they're kind of like steampunk cars in a way but they're there they are definitely there Really, did he just kill my pet? He did. Wow. You really did that to him? You really had this stunt on him like that? Well, I mean, I'm surprised I even killed him myself, so... I'll take what, uh, take what I get. How many do I- I need to kill, uh, how many of them? Uh... Wait, what? Did that even do anything? Kill Brown? Oh, 30%. 30 out of 100. Okay. Destroy Griffin eggs. Is that these? Pull up in a Bugatti or something. <laughs> True. 
I think I need to hop off that. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, there's some right here. Yep. Yep, yep. There's also a lot of, like, crafting and exploration. Uh, houses, like, you can do all that stuff, too. Which is pretty cool. You can become, like, a trader. You can become... Practically anything. I'll get houses. You get one for free by doing this quest. Um, there's this thing called like the blue salt people. They pretty much show you like how to do all the types of crafting. It's kind of like a tutorial in a way. They tell you like, okay, go here to, to do this. Uh, pick up this item to craft this thing. Um, and then eventually, like, you can get your own house, you can, uh, get your own farm. Uh, this is all gear and stuff. Oh, I forgot that I, finally I have this now. I can equip that. Um. Like, labor down here. Labor is something that generates in-game and offline. And then you use labor to conduct like actions like uh chopping down trees or um crafting an item or mining whatever it is it's usually like labor is what when you do that it'll eventually get you um like money labor is essentially money not in the literal term, but the fact that, like, the more labor you use, the more you're using it on, like, crafting equipment and stuff, and then the more that will turn into actual money, too. I need to swap these, actually. Or at least that's how I understand it. Shit. I don't have my pet. Come on, please die. Thank you. Man. What did I use right here? Lassitude and flex lassitude on increasing slowing attack and move speed over four seconds. Okay. I don't know why that's up there. Also, when did I even unlock that? I guess a while ago. Is it combo with anything? Oh, it does with Fens no. I can't wait to get that ability. Looks like a griffin. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> Brown griffins and darkling. Griffins. I guess the Darkling Griffins are like the little guys. I think once I uh, finish this quest here, I'm gonna have to hop off because I'm actually on a little bit later than I was expecting to tonight. But I mean, it's been a, a decent, decently long stream for a uh, a work night. drop here I'm so hot right now too these two PCs get my room like insanely hot yeah in a sec okay I'm gonna go up here chat with this person my dog's gonna bark in like two seconds Do they want me to go in here? No. Damn. 
course I'm getting off when it's a peace period too. But that's okay. Wait, what? Uh, I guess I can't pick it up now. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to 